Seminole County Emergency Operations Center is opening four general population shelters at the following locations. Crystal Lake Elementary School, Lyman High School, which is a pet friendly shelter, Lawton Childs Middle School, Midway Elementary School. We are also opening three special needs shelters for our residents with enhanced medical needs at the following locations. Bentley Elementary School, which is a pet friendly shelter, Layer Elementary School, and Highlands Elementary School. We are instituting a voluntary evacuation for residents in mobile and manufactured homes, low-lying areas, and flood zones. A flood warning has been issued for Seminole County. Please exercise caution if you live in a flood zone. For more information, visit SeminoleCountyFL.gov forward slash Dorian or call 407-665-0000. Some frequently asked questions about our shelters. What should I do before I leave my home? Make sure all the trees on your property are properly trimmed. Purchase materials you may need for post-storm repairs. Verify your insurance coverage. Take pictures or videos of your home inside and out to use for verification for insurance if and in the event it is damaged. Install prominent visible address numbers on your house and secure any outdoor items. We frequently are asked, should I go to a shelter? If any of the following apply to you, consider evacuating to a shelter. If you live in a mobile or manufactured home, if your home is in a low-lying area or flood zone, or if your home is not structurally rated for hurricane conditions. What should I bring to a shelter and what will be provided? The following will be provided. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Personal space accommodations measuring 21 square feet or seven feet by three feet. And presence of law enforcement. You should bring bedding, such as a cot, blanket, pillows. Cots are not provided at general population shelters. Your medications, foods for special dietary needs, comfort and entertainment items, photo identification, and extra clothing. How long do general population shelters stay open? Our general population shelters typically remain open for two to three days, depending on the severity of the disaster. Can I bring my pets to a shelter? Your pets can accompany you to a pet-friendly shelter. Do not forget proper identification for your pet, medical records, crates, and food. There will be a pet-friendly shelter available for our special need clients. What is prohibited in a shelter? Weapons, firearms, alcohol, and drugs are not permitted in any Seminole County shelters. How do I know when our shelters are open? Please visit www.seminolecountyfl.gov forward slash Dorian to find the most updated list of our Seminole County shelters that are open. Can I receive transportation to the shelter? Information regarding transportation to a shelter will be distributed when shelter openings are announced. Visit www.seminolecountyfl.gov for additional information.